Hello, welcome to the first episode of our new series, Technical Tuesdays. In this series, uh, we're going to explore how the different parameters within injection molding uh, can have an effect on your final part. There's lots of different topics we can explore in this series, including clamping pressure, material temperature, back pressure, injection pressure. Today, however, we're going to look at injection speed. So before we get into injection speed, I'd like to quickly run over the basics of how an injection molding machine works. So very simply, the material that you're using is held in a hopper. The material can then be gravity fed into a heated barrel where a screw will turn and pick up the material moving it closer towards the mold. The heated material is injected into a closed mold and once the liquid plastic is injected into the cavity, we add something called packing pressure, um, which allows the molten plastic to take the shape of the final product. The molten plastic will cool and shrink, taking the true form of the product. The mold can then open and the finished product can be ejected. So injection speed is the rate at which molten plastic is pushed into the mold. The correct injection speed will vary, uh, depending on a few different factors. The most important of these is the polymer that you're using. Changing the injection speed can have a pretty dramatic effect on the finished product. For example, if your injection speed is set too high, the finished product can have gas traps, burning and flashing. If your injection speed is set too low, this can lead to a short part as the molten plastic cools before it can flow into the entire mould. So the particular example we're going to look at is a control panel cover for a smoke detector. On this cover we have a TPE tether um, and this keeps it attached to the smoke detector which is usually installed in high places. As you saw earlier, the tether is over moulded onto the cover which is pre-moulded just a few moments before. Ensuring we have the correct injection speed for this kind of product is absolutely crucial. The tether is actually the furthest point away from the injection gate. So this means that if the injection speed is too quick, we can end up with flash around the seal face and gassing as well, which means the tether won't fully form. Something similar actually happens when the injection speed is too low, and the molten plastic will cool before it can reach the end of the tether um, again, and it won't form properly. And both of these instances leads to a product failure. So that's it for our first episode of uh, Technical Tuesdays. Uh, we hope you learned something about injection speed. If you have any questions um, or suggestions, please let us know in the comments. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.